Today's game is Colorpede from Intracolor, quite obviously a Centipede clone. This game was the first game that I bought from a third party, from somebody other than Radio Shack. Uh, Radio Shack had some pretty decent games. They had Polaris, uh, which was a, a Missile Command clone, and they had uh, Space Assault, which was a pretty good Space Invaders clone, but they didn't have a Pac-Man game, and they didn't have a Donkey Kong game, and they didn't have a Centipede game, and there's a lot of other games that they didn't have. Uh, and I had gotten most of the good games that they had and was looking for more. Uh, the uh, manager of the local Radio Shack store had told me that there was a Pac-Man clone that somebody had written, and he didn't know who or where I could get it, but he knew that there was a Pac-Man game out there. So I thought, well, at least there's a Pac-Man game out there if I can ever find it. Uh, and then uh, TRS-80 Microcomputer News, which was a magazine covering all Radio Shack computers that you got back in those days when you bought a Radio Shack computer, you got a six-month subscription to the magazine. They mentioned Rainbow Magazine that covered the color computer. And so I thought, well, if they cover the color computer, maybe they have some ads, and maybe they'll have an ad for this guy that sold uh, Pac-Man, so I... Uh, or a Pac-Man clone, so I thought, well, hey, you know, maybe I can get a game, uh, at least one game. So I subscribed to Rainbow Magazine, and when the uh, first issue came, uh, I literally spent an hour looking through the ads before I ever started reading anything. And at the time, Centipede was probably my favorite game, so the first game that I purchased uh, was Colorpede here, which is a centipede game. This game is easier in one way. If you notice, I'm sliding down, sliding over, and getting uh, the uh, nailing the uh, centipede as it comes down uh, after it's encountered a poison rush ring. That's usually pretty dangerous in centipede because it comes all the way to the bottom and it will uh, nail you uh, if you don't time it just right. But in uh, color Pete, it doesn't do that. It comes down one space from the bottom and then goes out instead of coming all the way to the bottom and then jumping back up a space. So what it, in this game, you're actually better off letting uh, the uh, scorpion uh, poison the mushrooms and then uh, you just uh, slide over and nail the uh, centipede as it's coming straight down. And uh, if you get started, once the... Uh, it starts to, uh, you get some poison mushrooms and it starts to come out, especially the screens where the mush, where the centipede is all in one, uh, all in, in one string, all together. Uh, you can nail it just as it comes straight down real easy and build up a high score that if you lose a, a life or two, it really isn't a big deal. And I used to get up hundreds of thousands of points. In fact, I think the only reason I ever really lost was that I'd get somewhat bored after playing it for a long time, and I'd start to get sloppy and would lose a bunch of lives and, and eventually lose it. But uh, this is this game here If you is one that if you got started good and got a few lives built up, you could go for a long time. Uh, even here, I haven't played it in a long time, and I'm, have last, I will have lasted a whole lot more than 10 minutes. So... Uh, I'm not going to uh, play, you know, I'm not going to show the game all the way through to I'll lose. I'll just uh, show you a little bit more of gameplay, and I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough, because this game really brings back a lot of fun memories. Hours and hours I spent playing this game and was very happy to have it, and very happy to find out from uh, looking through Rainbow Magazine that there were so many more games and so much more software available besides just what you could get from Radio Shack.